Have you ever felt like God's presence was far away from you? Fear is a common weapon used by Satan, and he often tells us the lie that God is far away from us, that he's not really with us. If Satan can keep us from experiencing the fullness of the presence of God, he gets a foot in the door. We have all had moments where we felt like God was distant, but the Bible tells us that this is not the truth. God repeatedly promises us in His Word that He is with us always. We have the promise of God's presence. God is with us. If you feel like God is far away right now, God has promised never to abandon or forsake us, and we can always depend on His presence in our lives. However, there are moments when we feel as if God has abandoned us. Maybe you are dealing with unanswered prayers, Perhaps you've been too preoccupied with your daily life to spend as much time with God as you should, and you are feeling guilty and concerned that God doesn't want to be with you. Even if you don't feel it, you can always count on God's ongoing presence in your life. If God's presence seems distant, there are numerous ways to recognize and experience His presence. Sometimes we don't feel God's presence in our lives because there's something that's blocking the communication between you and God. While he hasn't left, unconfessed sins can affect your sensitivity to his presence. Look at what King David had to say. Psalm 32 verse 3 to 5 When I refused to confess my sin, my whole body wasted away, while I groaned in pain all day long. For day and night you torment me, you try to destroy me, in the intense heat of summer. Then I confess my sin, I no longer cover up my wrongdoing. I said, I will confess my rebellious acts to the Lord, and then you forgive my sins. Selah. You need to read your Bible. When you dig into God's Word, you will discover His Word to you. You could even read it aloud. Speaking God's Word aloud might help you sense His power and presence. Remember God's Word is quick and powerful and sharper than two-edged swords, piercing even to the dividing, asunder of soul and spirit. You need to pray for God's presence in your life. There is power in speaking Jesus' name and calling on His name in prayer. Spend more time in prayer if you want to sense more God's presence. Pray for a greater sense of His presence in all aspects of your life. Begin claiming Jesus' power by uttering His name. Inform Jesus that you require more of Him. It is true that simple genuine prayers touch Jesus in our own hearts the fastest. Examine your prayer life if you are lacking the sense of His presence and then go on your knees and ask for more of Him. You need to experience God's creation. God created this incredible world that we live in and He created for His enjoyment and our enjoyment. Longing to feel the presence of God, get out and experience God's incredible creation. Take a walk outdoors and enjoy the scenery God's created around you and pour out your heart to Him. Connect with God as you connect with nature. The stunning beauty God has put all around us reminds us God is with us. Do you want to feel more of God's presence? Start praising Him. Give Him thanks. Good in habits and praises of the people He loves. Have you ever felt close to God in church while you were singing and lifting your hands in praise? That's when worship is happening and God is in the midst of worship. And when you don't have to be in church to worship and praise Him, Praise Him in your car. Sing praises to God around your house. You are no longer focusing on yourself but on Him. And when you open the door of your heart and pour out praise and love to Jesus, and He's going to meet you in His presence right there. Find some quiet time in today's busy world. Sometimes we don't sense God's presence like we want to because we have too many things on our minds, too much stress and anxiety. What we need is to set aside some time to just be quiet with Jesus. Put down your phone, turn everything off, sit down, and just breathe. In the quietness, center of your mind on Jesus. Give Him your worries. As the cares of life come to your mind, give them to Him. Be still. Give God the space to commune with you. There is no place where God will not be present. He guarantees that His presence will be with us at all times. On the job, in your classroom, when you are shopping, in the church, when it comes to ministering to others, 
when faced with life's trials and tribulation. Tonight we are going to pray for us to stay in the presence of God at all times. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we humbly approach your throne of grace, praising and glorify your name. You are our precious creator, and none can compare to the power of your name. We worship you, O beautiful King. You are worthy of all praise, Lord. We are so grateful to you, for you never leave nor forsake us, even in the times when we forget you. You are by our side whenever we call. For when we call on your name, O loving Father, you will hear our cry. With you we can do anything. We can mount on wings like eagles and soar over the mountain tops. You are so good to us, not even life, nor death, nor any power in heaven or earth could separate us from your love. Creator of our souls, we desire to feel your holy divine presence in our lives. Be with us always. Touch our hearts, shape us, mold us, guide us, and just lead the way to your heavenly kingdom. Lord God, help us as we manifest your light upon this dark world. Loving and majestic King, help others see the presence of you within us as we be a blessing towards them. Then they see you within us, O loving Lord. They may hunger and thirst after your righteousness so that they in turn can be a blessing to others. Lord, you are the omnipresence, the omniscient, omnipotent divine source, the creator and sustainer of everything. Please grant us the desire of our hearts according to your will. Assist us as we walk in your obedience of your word. Heavenly Father, grant us confidence as we charge into battle against the enemy. We shall not be afraid, for you are with us, Lord. Majestic ruler, comfort us through the rough waters, for you will never forsake us. Father, we know that we have been saved through your blessed Son, Jesus Christ. There is no doubt. Fill us with joy when the sadness attempts to infiltrate our hearts. Father, we know that you will walk with us and dwell in us in every situation. Redeemer, we desire to please you in all that we do, for we know that we shall be rewarded with your divine presence. The battle is the Lord. Rest, confidence, comfort, salvation, joy, and victory is ours. I seek your presence, O Lord my God. Create in me a hunger to be where you are always. I desire to work with you in your presence. May I never walk alone in life. Reveal my hidden sins, O Lord, in your presence. I repent of all my sins. Wash me, forgive me, and purge me in your presence, my God. Let me find joy, love, peace, rest, direction, favor, and strength in your presence. Show me the path of life, O Lord, in Jesus' name. I abide in the secret place of your presence and I will be protected from the plots of my enemies. Hide me secretly in the pavilion from the tongues of men. Do not cast me away from your presence, O Lord. I beseech you, and do not take away your spirits from me. I will come before your presence in singing. I will be quiet before you, my God. Let every mountain in my life, my family, my ministry, place of work, break down into pieces in your presence. Let the wicked who pursue, surround, stand against, or even rise against me, stumble and fall in your presence, in Jesus' name. May your presence make me whole, O Lord, my God. May your spirit transform me from one glory to another, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May I live, bear fruit, and serve you in your presence always. My Father, show me your way, in Jesus' name. Angels of breakthroughs, encamp around me, in the name of the Lord Jesus. You power of signs and wonder, overshadow my life in Jesus' name. Every agenda of the wasters for my life die in the name of the Lord Jesus. My blood reject the arrow of death in the name of Jesus. My virtues depart from the valley of the enemy in Jesus' name. You power of marine witchcraft, I command you to die in Jesus' name. Every darkness in my life die in the name of the Lord Jesus. Camp of my enemies, Receive confusion in Jesus' name. Every arrows of sickness and untimely death, I command you to backfire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arise in your anger and bury my Goliath in Jesus' name. Every poison programmed into my body, I command you to die tonight in Jesus' name. Every unrepented enemy of my progress, scattered in the name of Jesus. O God, you are mighty in battle. 
Pursue my pursuer in Jesus' name. Every local river hide in my blessings. Release them now by fire in the name of Jesus. O Lion of Judah, roar into the camp of my enemies in the name of Jesus. I pull down every stronghold of poverty in my life in Jesus' name. O God, arise and promote me unto your powerhouse in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight that your divine presence will surely be with me wherever I go. And I denounce all sickness, all evil, all ill company, all poverty, and negativity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.